Movie fans will remember Brosnan as the 007 of the 1990s, a James Bond of the post-Cold War era. While the actor bagged the role to star in 1995's Golden Eye after Dalton, it turns out he was originally offered the role back in 1986. After seven films, Sir Roger Moore bowed out as Bond age of 57 in 1985 S.A. View, To Kill. Following a screen test, Brosnan was offered to replace Moore as the new 007, but he had to turn it down because of his contract starring in TV series Remington Steele. MGM James Bond Pierce Brosnan reveals his screen test for Timothy Dalton's The Living Daylights today. The 64-year-old star shared a still from his screen test for The Living Daylights. His caption read a still from my screen test for Bond, The Living Daylights, back in 1986, I got the job. However, there was a catch, I couldn't get out of my contract with Remington Steele, dot and, well, let's save it for the memoirs. Of course once Brosnan turned it down producers went with Dalton, an actor they had had their eye on to replace Sean Connery in 1969. Guess who was going to play James Bond if Pierce Brosnan turned down Golden Eye Getty Pierce Brosnan today Dalton followed up The Living Daylights with 1989's Life License to Kill, but while he was set for a third film, it never got off the ground. In the end Bond was rebooted for a post-Cold War age with Brosnan some six years later, just as it was with Daniel Craig for a post-911 era in 2006.